You've clicked on an English Exposed video where I expose the truth about English. This first one was sent to me by a student who says they found an error in their book, the word bats. If you look at this picture, you can see a child with three ping pong paddles or paddles. These are used for playing ping pong or table tennis. However, in British English, they do use the word bats instead of paddle. But I think it's more common to use the word paddle or ping pong paddle. To be honest, I have never heard of a ping pong paddle or a paddle called a bat. So it's not an error. It's just British English. I hope that helps. Thank you so much for sending that to me. Let's see if you can find the error or errors in this next one. Okay, so one of the things that's missing is a comma. Where would you put a comma? If you said after the word properly, comma, that would be correct. If the door doesn't close properly, comma. Now, there's the word giggle. Now, giggle means <laughs> giggle, a little laugh. What word should be used? Jiggle, jiggle. So the answer is, if the door doesn't close properly, jiggle the doorknob. Here's the next one. One of my Facebook friends posted this and said I could use it in my next video. So here it is. Can you find the mistake? If you said the word select is incorrect, you're right. Because I cannot select a caption. There aren't any captions to select. So what is the correct word? If you said the correct word is write a caption or write a caption for this picture, you're correct. Good job. Here's the next one. Do you think when the fishes get thrown back by fishermen, they swim around yelling about alien abductions and the other fishes stop talking to them? What's the air? If you said fishes, that's correct. The word should be fish because it's a non-countable. Scientists might use the word fishes when they're talking about different species. But in this question, they're just talking in general about all fish. It should say, do you think when the fish get thrown back by fishermen, they swim around yelling about alien abductions and the other fish stop talking to them? One more little mistake. I don't like to see everything in caps, big letters, because it means that you're yelling. I understand that this is a sign and it's a joke. Got that. So when I read this, in my mind I hear, Do you think when the fish get thrown back by the fishermen, they swim around yelling about alien abductions and the other fish stop talking to them? That's what I hear in my head. So please, don't write in all caps. Last month we had this one. Were you able to find the mistake or mistakes? If you said that the I in if and the I in I are not capitalized, that's right. Should be capital I if and capital I. If I knocked on your door, would you invite me in and be hospitable? Do you see any other errors? Right, we need a comma. And where would we put a comma? After the word door, that's right. Remember, when you have a sentence that starts with if, you're going to need a comma somewhere within the sentence. If I knocked on your door, comma, 
Would you invite me in and be hospitable? Hospitable means to invite someone in, maybe offer them a drink or something to eat, and make them feel at home. I think if we saw an alien at our door, we'd probably take a picture, laugh, maybe reach out and touch it, or maybe call the FBI. What would you do if an alien came knocking at your door? Okay, my students, here's one for next month. Can you find the air? That's it for this month. Make sure you look for another English Exposed next month. I'm Ellie. Thank you for watching.